Cernix and Esophagus Applied Anatomy Look at this picture shows that Pharynx and Esophagus and associated parts detail going on. One anatomical location Pharynx. The pharynx is a muscular tube located behind the nasal and oral cavities extending to the esophagus it lies in front of the cervical vertebrae and is continuous with the esophagus at the lower border of the crocoid cartilage esophagus it is a muscular tube that connects the pharynx to the stomach. It begins at the levels of the crocoid cartilage C6, descends through the thorax behind the trachea and enters the abdominal cavity through diaphragm at the esophageal hiatus at T10 ending at the stomach T11. General structure pharynx. The pharynx is divided into three regions. One nasopharynx located behind the nasal cavity, two oral pharynx located behind the oral cavity, three laryngopharynx is may be called as hypopharynx, extend from the hyoid bone to the esophagus. Esophagus, it is a fiber muscular tissue with a layered structure. Mucosa, innermost layer lined with structured squamous epithelium. Submucosa contains connective tissue, blood vessels and glands. Muscularis propria, two layers of muscle, inner circular and outer longitudinal, which are skeletal in the upper third and stomach in the lower third. Advantita outer connective tissue layer. Three associated structures pharynx. The estalcyon tube opens into the nasopharynx connected to the middle ear. Platine tonsils are located in the oropharynx. The epiglottis located at the laryngeal inlet helps prevent food from entering the larynx during swallowing. Esophagus 
it lines behind the trachea and in front of the vertebral column in the neck the diaphragm surrounds it as it passes through the esophageal hiatus it is also closely associated with the aortic arch and the left main branches in the thoracic region for cross anatomy pharynx the nasopharynx communicates with the nasal cavity is lined by pseudo satisfied ciliated columnar epithelium the oropharynx and laryngopharynx are lined by satisfied squamous epithelium which is more protective due to exposure to food particles esophagus about 25 cm in length the esophagus transitions from skeletal muscle in the upper third to smooth muscle in the lower third there are two sphincters upper esophageal sphincter controls the passage of food from the pharynx into esophagus lower esophageal sphincter prevents reflux of gastric contents into the esophagus five histological structure pharynx the nasopharynx is lined by ciliated pseudo satisfied columnar epithelium with cobalt cells the oropharynx and laryngopharynx are lined by non keratinized satisfied squamous epithelium for protection the muscular layer consists of skeletal muscles arranged in circular and longitudinal layers esophagus mucosa is lined with non keratinized satisfied squamous epithelium for protection against abrasion the submucosa contains esophageal glands that secrete mucus the muscularis layer contains both skeletal and smooth muscle the outer layer is mainly avantita in the thoracic part and sorasa in the abdominal part six blood supply pharynx arterial supply branches of the external carotid artery including the ascending pharyngeal artery facial artery and lingual artery venous drainage pharyngeal venous plex drain into the internal jugular vein esophagus arterial supply cervical 
portion inferior thyroid artery thoracic portion branches from the aorta and branchial arteries abdominal portions left gastric artery and left inferior pharynx artery venous drainage cervical part drains into the inferior thyroid veins thoracic part drain into as it goes and hemiosophagus veins abdominal part drains into the portal system via the left gastric vein seven nerve supply pharynx the motor supply is mainly from the pharyngeal plexus formed by the vagus nerves is it is the 10th cranial nerve and contributions from the glossopharyngeal nerve cn9 sensory supply is via the glossopharyngeal nerve and vagus nerve esophagus the upper esophagus receives motor innervation from the recurrent laryngeal branch of the vagus nerve the lower of esophagus is innervated by the vagus nerves parasympathetic and sympathetic fiber from the esophageal plex the endric nerve system plays a role in coordinating peristalsis eight lymphatic drainage pharynx the lymph drains into the retropharyngeal lymph nodes and then into deep cervical lymph nodes esophagus lymphatic drainage varies by region cervical esophagus into deep cervical nodes thoracic esophagus into posterior midsternal nodes abdominal esophagus into left gastric nodes nine functions pharynx act as a passage way for both air and food plays a critical role in swallowing helping to direct food into esophagus and prevent aspiration into the respiratory tract involved in speech and air passes through the vocal cords located just below the pharynx in the larynx esophagus probels food from the pharynx to the stomach through coordinated muscular contraction known as peristalsis 
the lower esophageal sphincter prevents the back flow of gastric contents protecting the esophagus from acid reflux this detailed breakdown highlights the complexity and essential functions of both the pharynx and esophagus in the human body from their anatomical positions to their roles in swallowing and food propulsion thank you have a nice day